I used to go Club UN, which was just down the road from me in Tottenham, like all the time. I could just walk there. That was like the sickest thing. We are now standing outside what used to be Club UN, which was like one of my favourite, favourite clubs to rave to because it was just a sick place. Right here, they used to be like, in, literally in the space, there used to be like a massive tank that was like all done up in like camouflage. Yeah, so the queue was like, it was like this little ramp, literally that went from here up to there and then you went in there and I'd literally be like standing here like <laughs> getting ready to go into the rave um but yeah it's just to come like telepathy here like one nation I think one nation probably most of the time I used to come to you here um I want a ladder <laughs> I want a ladder but I was a naughty kid you know <laughs> I couldn't be trusted to go out I would have to sneak out and then get the beating of my life um, but yeah, I, I managed to get into the odd food. I like went Desire in Ilford back in the day. Um, but not many drum and bass events did I manage to get to, if I'm really honest. My first dances was all fucking house parties. Well, yeah, house parties, like all hood experiences, like just like go there to wine a girl, bun weed, everyone brings a drink, like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. So basically, in these, we used to have raves in these as well. Yeah. But there's a bit more edgy. There's a bit inside the block, in it. Yeah, this is where man them used to just be up here, bruv, just smoking, chilling. Obviously, you can see what you can see down there. That's where the rave used to be at. We used to do Devon's Yard Rave over there in the corner where the pub is. What are them blocks called over there? Frederick and John Walsh Tower. See the top floor? Yeah. That's where basically that was another jam. So they, they used to like you could get in like here, not obviously, but there, there's no houses on the top. So you used to go up there, just jam and you can see everything. So my brother had his sound system, Romance's Delight, and uh, back in those days it was um, like how you would go and get into an empty flat they would find empty houses, yeah, yeah. right? And then they'd go in there, switch the electric on, they'd organise some security, organise some drinks and whatever, and then, and then uh, bust a right, actually. And then uh, what would happen, they'd bring in, um, uh, like, the sound system, you know what I mean? Like, big speakers and blah, 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 and all the rest of it, and they'd throw a party. That was still a big shot. Like, after, that. Like, like spooky, them sort of people who used to go there buy records before they was like, DJs. I think it was like the biggest shop for grime. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's that was everyone talks about it all around the world. Famous shop that is. Why do you think it got famous? Because of us lot, really. We used to go there like just to eat food, and that's where Dizzy Rascal. Like we used to, we met talking here a few times. Why needs to come here? Just used to meet those of people down there. I didn't even know they was. I was just getting involved with people. So you used to network by going to record shops yeah. a lot, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. What other shops did you go to? I went Boogie Times, Romford, uh, Reading, based on records. I used to go there on my bike, uh, or get a train there on my bike, and then go down there. Uh, what other shops? There was loads. The, the shop that like my brother used to go to the most to was called Music Power on Green Lanes. Um, and like he, the guy in there, Nick Power, like he never used to let school kids go in there because they used to just go in there and like nick all his flyers, which is like, I don't really see what the problem is with that, but he didn't like it. Not that they were like, there was a charge for them or anything, but obviously you wanted to like decorate your room with flyers. Like, so obviously I had that classic room where literally from like floor to ceiling, it was just flyers. Every single exercise book was covered in flyers. But then this guy didn't like you going in and taking flyers so like I used to go in there with my brother and he'd be like yeah yeah you can have this I don't, I don't, like now it sounds stupid because it's literally just a bit of like card like paper or whatever but it's just like it was such a big deal so I could go into school the next day with, like there was this massive dreamscape one for this rave that never actually happened it was like so huge and it had this like woman's face coming out of the clouds and I was literally like I was the talk of the town having that flyer it's like no one else had it <laughs> The thing is as well with Bethnal Green Road is that it was the only place where it had like it had like a KFC and a McDonald's. So when I was a kid, if it was like a treat and we want to go to McDonald's, we have to come to this one. It's the only place 
in like London that we knew at a McDonald's, do you know what I mean? So go there, get a little Happy Meal. And then up here on the left hand side is Total Music. So when I was in school, I used to save my lunch money every day, £2.50 a day. And I used to walk from school to this record shop at lunch and go up into this building upstairs, top floor. And um, yeah, to buy a record and like take the flyers and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? I used to do that like twice a week or something.